Good morning, everyone. Sriftkel, playing some more Pokemon Reborn. And I just realized that I actually have a save before this. So we're going to see if we can do better. Uh, I made a few adjustments to the team. Uh, namely, I put Kuriton in front so we can get that uh, Tailwind up right away. Um, I've added Protect on pretty much the whole team. Um, I added Grass Knot on Geo. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And oh, and I added Rain Dance as a way to get rid of the hail and just possibly weaken the team or the enemy a little bit. I think actually I'm going to do something a little weird here. Let's try this. So, my intention here... is gonna be... I wanna just Lava Plume right away. I think I'm actually going to risk the Protect. Let's do Tailwind. So Tailwind Protect. I'm going to count on them focusing on... I was wrong. Okay, one of them attacked... Uh, Croyton. Um... Actually, I think they're going to do the same thing. I'm going to protect with Cry 10. We're in Lava Plume. Hold soften the attack. Got a burn. Snow melted away. That's what I wanted. And they targeted down Cry 10. Cold is no longer there to protect them. No longer hail. Um, I think if I go with another lava plume, Mammoth Swine gets finished off. Gyarados might be in trouble here, or might be trouble here. Or I can actually, yeah, let's just flamethrower down Mammoth Swine. And swap into... Man, who can actually take those hits? A Nevian. A Nevian can take those hits. Not very effective. Flamethrower. Finish off Mammoth Swine. Perfect. Let's see what Gyarados does. This is the concern. Waterfall on Shorty. Legit. Uh, somehow survive. We'll take it. Um, I think we go with another protect here. And sludge wave. Shorty Fury protected itself. Doesn't do much there. Oh, it covers the mountain in snow again. That's annoying. Okay, we've got a lava plume again here. Um, I don't have a great way to deal or to take care of this. I think we're going to get a free switch in. Um, and by that, I mean, I think Shorty Fury is going to drop here. So I think what we actually want to do is... Yeah, I think we surf. No, that's not a... Why would I surf? I'm being dumb. 
Lava Plume's gonna take out the snow. That's good. It's still not hailing. Which is important. Um... Sludge Wave isn't gonna do too much, but it would put them down into range where they can get one hit KO'd, and Blake isn't gonna use a push. Burn. Perfect. Not very effective. No burn. Snow melted away. Sludge Wave is gonna finish off our own Pokemon there. That puts all of their guys into range. And apparently Thunder is mountain problematic as well. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think we bring Drew in here. And I think we Parabolic Charge Protect. Figured he would use a potion there. I'm glad he had a potion, not a full restore. Parabolic Charge is going to do damage there, but it's also going to finish Starmia. Nevian heals a little. Gyarados takes a little damage. Tailwind stopped blowing. So, Weavile is scary. I need to get Tailwind back up. I think we Volt Switch. Sludge Wave. Just because I think Anevian's going to drop either way. That's going to finish off there. And we get to bring in two new Pokemon. Weavile. I'm gonna bring in Kraten, or Velus and Kraten. We're gonna Earthquake. Tailwind. That's not good. I was not thinking about priority moves working that way. But super effective Earthquake is still super effective Earthquake. Earthquake, Geoprotected. That'll finish off both of their Pokemon. Protect in doubles matches is easily the most powerful move Pokemon. Most important move at the very least. And they're down to one poke. Um I think what I'm going to do is actually protect and grass knot. I figured they were going to surf or blizzard. And then we can hammer arm grass knot. And that should finish it off. Or they finish us off. Either way, we should be good here. Double Grass Knot? Grass Knot um, does damage based on how heavy the other Pokemon is, and Walrein is very heavy. 
Cool story, bro. <laughs> Rafe, sorry I took so long. It's not like it matters now. I can hear them coming. But Rafe won the battle, right? Doesn't that mean you have to give us the ring? Forget it. You already lost. My ride's here, kids. Heather needs to get that back. You can't take it away from her. Well, since you asked so nicely, I'll just give it back. Really? <laughs> no. Get wrecked, bra. I'll have no choice but to stop you. You and what army? This one. Salamance, it's takedown time. Got the ring. Ugh, what the? Hey, Ovid. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Setting things right. Okay, okay, I get it already. Keep it safe. Don't l have to tell me twice. All right, you can do you do that. I'm putting this show on ice. Hey, wait a minute. What about Agate? Wasn't the super spell on Agate supposed to be controlled from up here? I don't have a clue about that. Whoever told you that was probably just baited you hard, fam. Anyway, I'm blowing this pop skill stand. See ya. Should we go after them? No point. He's just an annoyance. Slayers didn't even show his face, but it looks like the day is ours. Hey, thanks for your help, all of you. Of course, I'm not finished yet. Definitely. I'm gonna go get the rest of the food out to the people of Metrine, but I'll catch up with you guys later. Well, I want to help. You can ride with me, Shell Bell. Hey, Rafe. What Blake said about Agate City, I don't think he was lying. Not this time. Cut my ties with Meteor, just as they were getting that going, so I don't know the details. There's no base up here that could maintain a signal of that strength. Whoever told you the signal was coming from Mimetrine was probably lying. You remember who that was? Oh, Terra. I know of her. I know of her through Team Meteor. Not long after, not long before I left, she joined under the code name Tidwin. It's a name based off the stars, like all of ours. She really doesn't seem the type, but she's a skilled programmer and system hacker. It's hard to say if she's better than the old one, but certain. She's the preference, uh, obnoxious girl as she is. Lynn was pushing for her to take the position for a while. Got some stuff to finish up, but I won't be a stranger. Suggest you go confront Terra about this ordeal. Actually, I can give you a lift down to a Metrian if you want. Yes, please. Okay. Well, we barely made it through that. Um, that was a heck of a fight. Glad we had that second chance, though. Okay, we're gonna pop up over here. One more thing real quick. I accidentally, or I dropped my necklace. I wasn't able to find it anywhere. I guess if, I guess it happens. I can always make a new one. I don't know if this is gonna work. The stone is kind of big for a new necklace. Super pretty, but it's, uh, uh, but this is difficult to make, and unfortunately, it's all I have. Hey, what's that you have there? That floral charm is really pretty. I could use it to make a new necklace. Yep. This is gonna be a cinch. Let me just tie this here. I don't need the stone anymore, so you can have it. <laughs> Tight. We'll take that. Okay. And from there... We have... Anything else in this city we missed before we head back? I don't think so. Was there? Maybe we get something for reclaiming the food. Is there somewhere we can... I guess let's just go through quick and talk to people now that... 
things have been taken care of. Chilled Caves of Ametrian. Oh, we're going to have to head back up there. For that Lucario. Let's head back up. I did originally prep this team to take on that Lucario as well. I just don't know where it is. So I think probably just need to look for a side path here. Maybe something that we couldn't get to and we can get to now that uh, Meteor's gone. any side paths here there's some awkward like side paths hidden in these or in this game so far so I think I'm just gonna poke around a little bit more we've got plenty of reports this figure this one out. I don't see any sign of a Lucario here. Can you back to the main path? It was here. It says after beating the grunts, which was up here, that we fought the grunts. Follow the path along the narrow cliff. I don't see a path along the narrow cliff here. It looks like it would be over there, but I'm not seeing any way to get past this rock.
Unless there's like a jump somewhere that I'm not seeing. Yeah, I would have thought it would be referring to this. But that doesn't seem to be the case either. Hmm. Very weird. Because, yeah, it definitely felt like there should be that Lucario somewhere up here, and it's even been referenced again. Well, this doesn't make much sense. I'm gonna pause here and po continue poking around so I'm not wasting your time. Okay, I think I missed a step. Yeah. So, the problem wasn't that I was in the right, wrong spot, it was that I hadn't taken care of the stuff at the bottom of the mountain fully yet. So now, with that taken care of, we should be able to talk to the old man again. So Lucario with an egg, I hadn't anticipated that, but explains their behavior. They've been lurking strangely close to the city uh, for how averse it seems to humans. It's just a guess, mind you. It's seeking someone to look after its child. Kario herself hides away in the cold due to her distaste of trainers, but perhaps even she realizes this is no place to re raise a Riolu. That creature must have had a very hard life with its past owner. Uh, may find some sort of small cave for shelter. Perhaps meeting in such a uh, seeking such a place would be the best best way to meet Lucario again. Okay, so with that dialogue that we have missed at the bottom, now we can get back up to the top. And this time, I'm hoping whatever I was missing will be obvious. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This path was blocked off and is no longer. Okay, and there's the Lucario. So, we've got a level 85 Lucario to deal with. Uh, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> uh, we have the means to cheese it if we need to. which I think we're going to do now. I just wanted to clean switch in. Okay, blew a citrus berry. That puts us in range for Croiton to do uh, what he was meant to do, which is Parasong. Oh, 
Oh, extreme speed there. Good call. I'm going to see... Oh, probably not. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's the thing. But Parish Count fell to zero. Cario bows. And from there, we get fairy memory. And a Riolu. Oh boy. So. I'm still missing one thing off of my checklist that I had made. Which is, there's supposed to be somebody around here that's going to give us a Magmarizer. Just haven't seen them. Wait, has there been a Pokemart up here the whole time that I totally just missed? Well, that might do it. No rations without a card. Get food after all? Why does it have to be now? Went through all the trouble of scavenge I mean, salvaging the components for these heaters. I was going to sell it so I could have Grub and Hub or Deli Bird Dash bring me something. Nice. All this work. There's a Magma Razor. Awesome. Um, from there, we're also going to grab... Some additional repels. Oh, we have Max Repels available. Yes. Yes, please. It's Piper Potions. We're still pretty good on Ultra Balls, but let's go ahead. Don't have water or the ability to use waterfall yet. Hmm. So I guess we either have to go back to the circus to challenge and you or and get the uh, flying badge. Or we have to have return to Kalsanon. I think the circus should be where Terra's at as well. Who we know now is potentially out to get us. Um, or misleading us at the very least. For now, we head back to the circus. That seems the most straightforward. So I don't see anything else here to do in uh, Amatrine. And the other thing that is going to let us do, which is potentially valuable at the very least, 
is we can get our Pokemon trained up that I've got. Um, I've got several new Pokemon that I want to get trained up. Um, I figure we can do that before we continue. And that'll give me a chance to figure out where I need to go next as well. Um, yeah, no, we've got a, like a Riolu egg to hatch. We've got, um, what was it? Let's see, we've got a Riolu egg. We've got a, uh, Proterra. We've got a Snorlax. And I still need to get, um... What was the last thing? Oh, I still need to get the, uh, that one last puzzle at the circus filled out. Which, by the way, has been a complete pain. Uh, so the start on those uh, puzzles is randomized apparently, which I did not know when I started. So I took a screenshot of it. I worked out a like, uh, uh, I did like built a spreadsheet to track how to do the, the changes on it and did a bunch of testing before I went back to it. Went to go do the um, went to actually go do it, and sure enough, I got there, and it was a completely different layout than the one I had been prepping for. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that at some point as well. Um, which at this point I don't think I want to wait. I've already wasted like half an episode on it. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good time to break. Uh, like I said, at this point, we're going to be hatching a Riolu. Oh, that was the other one. It's Tassara. So we're going to train up Tassara, Ishtar, Nimona, Nick, and this Riolu. Um, and we'll go from there. Hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you'd like a Pokemon named after you, make sure you check out the form in the description. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.